Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to Simply Sports Talk. Today, we're going to be talking about why Taven Bryant has been confusing. So for the past few years, Taven Bryant has been a confusing player, to say the least, as he was not producing for the pick we picked him at. He was not producing for the pick in which we selected him at. And every now and then throughout these seasons, he would show flashes. And he's a really confusing player. As before the season started, it was a clear synopsis of cut him. Now that we're at the end of the season, Jaguar fans and Jaguar media is debating, should we keep him? Taven Bryant has potential. However, it's, it seems like it's too late to show that potential. As for years now, the Jaguars have been disappointed and been hit with disappointment as we believe Taven Bryant could have been so much better. However, I have heard from the legend, Tony Baselli. He just recently got inducted to the Hall of Fame. I'm hoping his counterparts, Fred Taylor and Jimmy Smith, also get the nod into the Hall of Fame as I made a video on Jimmy Smith. And it's just an overall happy day in Jackson or happy, happy moment for Jaguar fans as our first ever pick is our first ever Hall of Famer. That's very fitting. Now, Tony Baselli said, Taven Bryant has a lot of strength. Taven Bryant is a strong man. He's a strong man. However, he lacks coordination, something like that. He lacks coordination, skill, something like that. He has. He has the raw potential, but he isn't quite using the tools correctly to maximize his full potential. Now, as I said earlier, the Jaguars have been very, I'm sorry, Jaguar fans have been very confused as we questioned the pick initially. When he was first selected, we questioned the pick as I heard recently that no one else had him that high on their board. No one else had him that high to pick. No one was going to pick him that early. The Jaguars, in a sense, reached on Taven Bryant. And I mean, he hasn't been producing, and he's in danger, as you can see by this article. He's in danger of being released. I see why no one else had him that high, highly touted. Now, I thought, and other Jaguar fans and media, they thought there was a clear synopsis that it was over. Tim Brown was getting released or traded. I didn't even think he made the team. I was surprised when I saw him on the field. I didn't even think he made the team. I thought it was over for Tim Bryant. However, the season started, Urban Meyer let him on the team, and for better, there were moments where there were ups, and then there were moments where there were downs. Those downs were he wasn't really on the field, he didn't really see the field that often, and when he did see the field, it wasn't, didn't really feel his impact, but there were some ups, like the Bills game. He recorded two sacks in one game. He was, he was, he was unstoppable. I was so amazed. I was, is that Taven Bryan? Is that Taven Bryan moving offensive linemen off the center line and moving them moving them around like they're little kids. And this is not some weak offensive line. This is the Bills offensive line. This is one of the top teams in football. They're going to have, or they do have a good offensive line. He was moving them around. And then I, I remember what Tony said. This kid is strong. This kid is strong. And I saw it firsthand. He was moving offensive linemen around and he was wrecking havoc. He had one of the, it, it seemed like he had one of the best games out of everybody else who went, who was, who had a good game. And if you watch the game, it was the best Jaguar defensive game of the season by far. Now, this wasn't the only game in which he had a good impact. There were other games where I saw him moving people around, and I was like, this kid is really strong. Like Tony said, he has potential. However, he hasn't produced in the last four years. So it's it's we're in a situation where we're like, well, he hasn't produced. However, we saw what he did this season, which was probably his best season to date. Not numbers wise, but probably the eye test wise. As in the earlier seasons, he was a first round pick, so he played more, but he didn't really play this season. And he showed flashes. I don't know, maybe we can give him a one more, one more chance, one more chance, one year contract, or we can cut him or release him, or we can trade him. The Jaguars have to make that decision. Now, as I said earlier, he had a spark and we we felt Taven Bryan this year. And actually, like last year, the entire year, I didn't I didn't notice Taven Bryan at all. I, I didn't even know he was on the field. My dad would sit next to me and say, is Taven Bryan even on the field? Our first round pick, is he even on the field? But this year, my dad my dad was surprised. My dad, Me and my dad was surprised. I mean, especially in the Bills game, as you can see. It was nothing short of, I would say, sensational by Taven Bryan. He, he was just absolutely phenomenal. I, I, I was speechless. I was like, that's Taven Bryan? Taven Bryan is dominating like that? I was so surprised. Now, with Taven Bryan, usually when he performs – I'm sorry, for this season, when he did perform, usually the defense as a whole was performing well. And it was usually a unit. As I mentioned earlier, it was our best defensive game. And ironically, that's his best defensive game of the season. But usually you wouldn't see Taven Bryant 
wrecking havoc, but everybody else is just having an off game, not really getting to the quarterback. He he more he more or less followed the flock. If the flock was dominating, he's dominating. If the flock was doing bad, he's doing bad. That's that's essentially how the season went for Tavon Bryant. I will admit, when Taven Bryant, when the defense was playing good and Taven Bryant was coming and playing really good football, he had an impact on the game. He was moving people out the way, as I've said multiple times. He was moving people. It was just, it was just so surprising because we haven't seen him do anything like that over the past few seasons. It, it was so surprising. And as I reiterate, it is very, consu- it is very confusing because we believe he has potential. However, he's just so inconsistent for the pick he was selected at that we think it might not be worth it. It might not be worth it. As I feel he does have potential. And as I mentioned earlier, it seems like he waited too long. It seems like he just waited too long to act on that potential. I feel like with Taven Bryant, it might be too late. It might be too late. If he would have did this in his second year, maybe we would have been like, hey, he had a bad rookie year, but his second year was amazing. But unfortunately for Tim Bryant, it is his fourth year and his contract is coming up and we have a decision to make. Now, as I, re- as I said earlier, his future is very confusing as I don't know what the Jaguars are going to do. Are they going to release him? Are they going to trade him? Are they going to cut him? Who knows? Who knows? All I can hope is Taven Bryant, wherever he lands, continues to perform and continues to improve and continues to get better at football as I believe he has something it's something there there is something there regardless of the inconsistencies regardless of everything surrounding Tim Bryant there is something there now I hope Tim Bryant can work on his craft and get better in the future but I'm not sure if that will be on the Jaguars it might be on some other team it might not we'll have to see in the future now thank you for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe This is Simply Sports Top signing out. Bye.